Pep Guardiola has created one of the most dominant sides in Premier League history, playing a style of football that produces a lot of high value chances and has them scoring bucket loads of goals every single season. So how do you get your team playing in this exact same way? Well, this video is going to be giving you Pep Guardiola's Man City tactics for FIFA 23. We'll cover the formation you play, all of the tactics you'll need, and even go through each player's instructions so it plays as close to the real thing as possible. So throughout practically the entire time that Guardiola has been at Manchester City, he's deployed a 4-3-3 formation. Okay, so now onto the tactics. For defensive style, you want to put it to press after possession loss. If you watch a Guardiola team play, then you'll notice that as soon as they lose the ball, they have about 7 seconds where they intensely press the opposition. If they don't get the ball back in those 7 seconds, then they revert back to their formation and play much more conservative. Then for the width, you want to go with 45, as more often than not, your wingbacks are going to be bombing up the pitch, leaving both your centre-backs and holding midfielder a little bit exposed. So when a team comes to counter-attack you, you don't want your centre-backs to be too far apart, as otherwise a team can play a simple ball through the middle and be an on-goal. Then for depth, I've gone for 60, as Guardiola doesn't play that high of a line, but he definitely doesn't sit in his own box for 90 minutes. Onto the offence, you want slow build-up for build-up play and then forward runs for chance creation. So what this is going to allow you to do is knock the ball around patiently while you wait for one of your wingers or striker to make a run and then urgently hit that space. For width, I've gone with 60, as Guardiola does play with wingers that stretch the pitch, but when we get to player instructions, I'll talk more about that. Then for players in box, I've gone with 5, corners 2 and free kicks 2, and these don't really matter too much. Now onto your individual player instructions, your goalkeeper is going to be sweeper keeper to emulate Edison in real life. For both your fullbacks, the only thing you're going to change is the attacking runs and run type, and you want join the attack and overlap. If you're playing with Jao Cancelo at left back, or any other fullback that's playing left back with a right foot, or right back with a left foot, then you can change the run type to inverted, which allows you to cut in when they make runs. I have tried to find a way to get Jao Cancelo to join in with these centre midfielders like he did in real life a lot last season, but unfortunately after quite a lot of digging and experimenting, I couldn't quite get it to work. Also, just to quickly say, the two centre backs can be left with everything on default, you don't need to touch these whatsoever. Okay, now onto the midfield general who's going to be playing the Rodri role. When choosing the attacking support, you can either go with stay back while attacking like I have, or you can select drop between defenders. If you notice that your team is getting counter-attacked quite a lot and you don't have enough men back, then go ahead and experiment with drop between defenders, but for me, i found that stay back while attacking has worked perfectly anyway. Then the only other thing you want to change is the defensive position, as the default is cover wing, but you want them covering centre at all times. Then for your left centre mid, who is a jack of all trades, you want everything set to default bar support in crosses, which you want to change to get into the box for cross. This is going to give you more options to aim for and more chances to score when you're attacking in numbers, which is something you'll be heavily doing with this team. If you want to play with a Kevin De Bruyne-esque player, then I'd suggest changing the support on crosses to stay on edge of box for cross. Then change the interceptions to aggressive interceptions, defensive position to cover centre, and then positioning freedom to free roam. Then for the final centre midfielder, which is kind of the Bernardo Silva role, you want to change interceptions to aggressive interceptions, and then positioning freedom to free roam as well. Onto the wingers, they both have the exact same instructions, so set them to stay wide and then aggressive interceptions and get into the box for cross. Manchester City's wingers play very wide in order to pull the opposition defenders out of position and create space through the middle for De Bruyne to pick a pass. What this also allows them to do is stay open for a switch of play to then use the fullback to help attack that side of the pitch while the opponents are out of balance. Quick triangular passing between the centre midfielders, the wide players and the fullbacks helps them get in behind, down to the byline and put the ball across. So these instructions are going to help your wingers do that in game. Then finally onto the striker, you want them to stay central, stay forward, get in behind and have aggressive interceptions. It might seem silly to say, but the only purpose of your striker in this formation is to score goals for fun. You don't need them dropping deep, you don't need them helping with build-up play, they just need to be in the right place at the right time to tap the ball home. If this video helped you play just like Guardiola's Man City, then make sure to watch the video on screen now as it's going to help you even more.